Yes. There is this entrepreneur in you. You need to discover that entrepreneur. So, start practicing entrepreneurial thinking. Yes. Welcome to my channel. I am Henry Wisa, a professor of entrepreneurship and owner of www.mukmik.co.ke That's a website. I am currently the chairman of African Agribusiness Incubators Network, the AAIN. I was the former chairman of the Kenya Investment Authority. I've been a chairman of other organizations, investment based organization and director of SEM. Really, if you want to expand your entrepreneurship knowledge, skills, attitudes and indeed practices, then yes, you are in the right place. I will bring you my 30 plus years experience of teaching, training, researching, publishing and practicing entrepreneurship. Now a lot of this experience has been gained from consulting for global and local organizations including the World Bank, the United Nations, Africa Union and so on and so forth. So let me share with you my experiences. Now do you think entrepreneurs are born or made? But wait a minute. Who is an entrepreneur? Well, there is no universally accepted definition, but an entrepreneur is commonly seen as an innovative person. One who generates new ideas, goods, services, and procedures. The typical entrepreneur is an individual who creates a new business bearing most of the risks and enjoying most of the rewards. Yeah, this is some of these entrepreneurs global. That's Bill Gates, Microsoft. That's Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook. That's Regent Branson, the Virgin Group. That's Steve Jobs, based in this airport group. Oprah Winfrey, the talk show in America. Mo Ibrahim, Celtic. Basetsana Kumalo, media. Tabitha Karanja, breweries. These are some of the entrepreneurs we know globally and locally in Africa, in Kenya, and in the world. So, are entrepreneurs born or made? Not long ago, I attended a global entrepreneurship conference in, in Washington. And colleagues of entrepreneurship in the entrepreneurship field came up with research findings. I also had my own. There is evidence that entrepreneurs are more made than born. They are both born and made, but more entrepreneurs are made than those who are born. Somebody told us in the conference that an entrepreneur is 5% born with innate abilities and 95% made by life experiences. Well, don't ask me how you came with those percentages. I calculated them, I measured them. But the truth is that all of us, me and you, have some entrepreneurship abilities in us. So the question 
are entrepreneurship entrepreneurs born or made you know traits we are born with some traits but we can also acquire skills so yes you are born with certain characteristics but the skills to make you a successful entrepreneur are acquired so you are both born and made and look at those cartoon look entrepreneurs are born not made and then you're saying we know it is in there but we just can't seem to find that entrepreneurship gene look somebody is looking at the dna at the blood of an entrepreneur they're looking for that entrepreneurship gene but they're not finding it so do you want to discover the entrepreneur in you then first you must start by dispelling that common myth that entrepreneurs are born that all entrepreneurs are born the majority of entrepreneurs are not born our researchers have found out that they are driven to it many entrepreneurs are driven into that into entrepreneurship and that this same drive enables them to do what is necessary to be an entrepreneur you see somebody says if necessity is the mother of invention then imagination is the father of creativity when a need arises people invent and rich imagination leads to creativity and that's what we're, what we're talking about entrepreneurial thinking now listen to these entrepreneurs that steve jobs he says i am convinced that about half of what separates successful entrepreneurs from the non-successful ones is pure perseverance and he goes on to say the only way to do great work is to love what you do if you haven't found it yet keep looking don't say a great entrepreneur telling us that and bill gates tells us if you are born poor it is not your mistake but if you die poor it's your mistake yes don't lament for having been born in a poor family that you are not born an entrepreneur you are not born with a silver plate or a silver spade but should you sit back and die poor bill gates tells us it's your own mistake and while disney says the way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing men of us talk too much lament too much complain too much and we do nothing and the peter karanja the lady in kenya who is giving big priorities around for their money says i knew what i wanted in life and i worked day and night to achieve it and here i am yes she is a successful entrepreneur Kenyan standards and then there is this Njeri Ryonge of the Wana Inji online he says she says taking an idea that's on paper or in your head and moving it forward into real tangible action is the true spirit of entrepreneurship get it out of that head don't just write about it you know convert it in some tangible action and nelson mandela said do not 
judge me by my successes. Judge me by how many times I fell down and got back again. Look, that we can make ourselves entrepreneurs. It is entrepreneurial mindset, it's entrepreneurial thinking. And there is this Pasetana Kumalo, successful entrepreneur, once I miss South Africa and then became now a successful entrepreneur. I think she held Mandela in his hands after listening to him and her ring her. And she said, I sold sweets to friends at school and we would sell sandwiches and ice cream at soccer matches on weekends. So from a very early age, I understood what business was about and I knew how to work with money. All the basic business principles I learned from watching my parents. Yes, Kumalo is a pioneering South African entrepreneur, television personality, beauty vision, title holder, businesswoman, and philanthropist. So you can practice it. You can learn it. You can acquire it. So you can be made. You can be born with some traits, but you'll also be made by acquiring the necessary skills. Now, if you have ever had a feeling in the pit of your stomach that you are meant to do something bigger, more meaningful, and all to be yours, then you are ready to go. You are a nascent entrepreneur. You just need to learn to think like an entrepreneur. And even if you have never had the feeling, you simply need to harness your entrepreneurial mindset. So, what is an entrepreneurial thinking? Or what is entrepreneurial thinking? It is the ability to see things differently from the rest of the world. But it is not necessarily an inherent trait and can be easily developed or improved. It is more like a state of mind that opens your eyes to new learning opportunities and helps you grow in your role. That is thinking. And what is an entrepreneurial mindset? It is a way of thinking that enables you to overcome challenges, to be decisive, and accept responsibility for your outcomes. It is a constant need to improve your skills, learn from your mistakes, and take continuous action on your ideas. When you are facing a challenge, you don't just give up. You look at how you are going to meet that challenge. When you have, there is a failure, which later on I'll correct, do not pass the back. Do not think because of so and so. Accept that as your own mistake and learn from it. The moment we accept it, then we own it, then we shall correct it. The moment we think it's not your mistake, it will remain, you never even attempt to correct it. Anyone can learn how to act like an entrepreneur, build the habits, and learn some business hacks to fearlessly create a business or start a side hustle that can grow into full entrepreneurship. That anyone is you. You there is an entrepreneur in you. Wake that entrepreneur right now. Now let me tell you, the biggest killer of the entrepreneurial mindset is not what you would expect. It's not failure. It's not the economy or bad ideas. It is doubt. It is doubt in ourselves is doubt in our surroundings and is doubt in our abilities. Self-doubt 
kills many dreams. Very long before any external factors can come into play. You see? We always think that things are impossible. Some things are unachievable. That we are unable. Oh, I can't do it. No, we are saying, please, cross that I am in impossible. Because it is possible. Cross that you am in unachievable. Because it's achievable. Cross that you am in unable. Because it's able. You are able. Remove that T from I can't. Because you can do it. Self-doubt is your biggest enemy. Remove it now and you'll be now on path to your entrepreneurial thinking and developing your entrepreneurial mindset. Now, let's practice entrepreneurial thinking and develop an entrepreneurial mindset. Ask questions. Keep asking questions. It is said that a typical four-year-old asks an average of 100 questions every day. They are naturally curious, those kids, curious about the world. And entrepreneurs are also curious, or should also be curious. There is never a fear of asking a stupid question from those kids. Now, like many religions ask us to do, that is, to be born again and be like children, entrepreneurship asks you to rewind your times to when you were a child, asking many curious questions. Wherever you are, whatever you do, there are situations that pose questions you need to ask or you need answers for. Ask those questions now. Practice asking questions. Now, if I have touched your entrepreneurship now to want to start your journey of entrepreneurial thinking, then practice the exercise below. And do not fear to fail because fail means first attempt in learning. Don't think you have failed. You have just had a first attempt in learning. And don't think that the world is coming to the end. Because end is not the end. In fact, end means effort never dies. So, when you think you have failed, put in more effort. Because effort never dies. And if you ask for something and the answer is no, no. If you get that answer, then take it this way. No means next opportunity. So you fail. You put in more effort because effort never dies. And you discover the next opportunity. So, if I have touched you, and I've touched your entrepreneurship now, to want to start your journey of entrepreneurial thinking, then practice the exercise below. Look at this. First column, imagine you are a housewife, a business owner, a teacher, a retiree, a farmer, an employee, a student, and indeed put there your own self. You may not be a housewife, you may not be a business owner, you may, you may be somebody else. That's why you're saying you are real self. And ask at most two questions. And these questions should be the type, what can I do with this? Let's be a housewife. What can I do with this wastewater? Ask questions like, why is it there A, B, C, D? You are a business owner. Why is it there 
a better method of serving customers. You are a teacher. Ask how. How can I make all my students pass? You are a retiree. How else can I invest? You know, ask the what, the how, the what if. Ask questions. You are a farmer. Why am I not getting better returns from my raw materials? You are an employee. What can I take home from this business? You are a student. How can I earn something to offset my parents' burdens? So, ask those questions. And for every question that you ask, suggest an entrepreneurial opportunity associated with that question. So, start practicing it. Put there the questions. You are imagining you are one of these, but at the end, you put there your own real self. And ask, probably, the obstacles that face you what are these obstacles that face you? And those obstacles, can you see an entrepreneurial opportunity in them? You will be on your right path for starting to be a real entrepreneur, actually shepherding that dormant entrepreneurship in you. Now, if you want me to assess it for you, whatever you have done, then send me the table. You know, this this table sent me that table don't mind if even if you have not filled the third column the entrepreneurial opportunity so I'm saying if you want me to assess it for you then send me the table even if you have not identified the opportunity at only 100 Kenya shillings I will assess them and send you feedback. Then we could start a journey of working through your idea. So, fill it. Even if you don't fill those blanks and you want me to assist you, then please send it to me with 100 Kenyan shillings. I will assess. I will send it back to you Pass, I mean, to you in your own private uh, inbox and we can start from there. Yes, you are sending 100. You pay and send transaction code to my number. 254-722-858507 and then you alert me through that number when you would have sent the transaction code for me to verify and then get back to you. Yes, you can send via my MPESA number. That's my MPESA number. Or you can say send via my buy goods till number. That's my buy goods till number. Remember, via MPESA, it attracts the normal MPESA transaction charges. But via buy goods, you will not be charged any commissions or any transactions. So there you are. Go back to your table. Make that table. Make the matrix. There it is. You can fill in as many uh, aspects as possible, as many types. The, the who you are, housewife, business owner, student, you can fill in as many as you want. You can ask the questions as many, at least, at most two, don't ask so many, at most two. And you can suggest business entrepreneurial opportunities. If you are stuck and you want me to help you, then do what I've said. 
send the hundred, send the table, alert me, and I'll come back to you directly in your inbox. That's the Mpesa number. That is the Lipa, the Mpesa buy good steel number. Remember, Mpesa is always that a commission that they will charge you and even me. But the buy good steel number, there are no uh, transactions. So, if you enjoyed it, please like it. Please share this. Please subscribe because there are more to come. And if you really feel like supporting us, then just visit uh, my website www.mukmik.co.ke and you'll be able to donate whatever you want. I'm hoping you'll be able or you have gained something from this simple uh, motivational talk and I hope we can keep together. Watch this space. Thank you.